Uh, who you actually, Hurricane, you probably like Aaron Rodgers a lot. I mean, he's... Is it he's mandatory a- to have nice hair to be a successful YouTuber? No, not not true. You don't <laughs> need it. That's, uh, there's plenty of examples of... Yeah, look at Mimic Brew. He has a lot of hair. <laughs> yeah. Fucking great. I was, I was trying not to say him, but... <laughs> <laughs> I can say it. Whatever. No one cares. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I love you, dude. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Brew's not angry. <laughs> He's not really. He thinks it's funny. Oh, no, no. Sorry. You've got, you know, you have great arm hair, though. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another week of this week's hottest Pokemon cards. Now, I actually take a lot of pride in uh, being a role model for those who have, you know, not all their hair left. So, what little hair I have is good, and I take pride in that. Welcome back to another week of this week's hottest Pokemon cards. This is going to be a busy one, so we're going to get right into it very quickly. However, I just want to let you guys know that after this video, I will not be back till next week. Uh, my next video will probably be next week's This Week's Hottest Cards. And that is because I got a golden ticket to the Pokemon Cabal on Friday. Locus. I will do my best to record as much as I can and, uh, you know, let you guys in on, on what's going on. But I will also be at Collecticon Charlotte on Saturday. So Friday, I got a very big, big deal thing. I'm going to go meet a lot of big deal people, such as Gary King Pokemon, PK, and a bunch of other people. But Saturday, I will be at Collecticon in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I am literally getting on a plane in like six hours. So I'm going to hurry up and get this done, and then I'll see you guys next week, and I'll do my best to record as much as I can. But let's get in to last week's cards. So first of all, Last week's cards on the rise. You will notice every week when we do this, if you see more than two numbers, that means that that specific card has continued to go up week after week after week. And in this case, that is Kieran, SIR from Twilight Masquerade. So Kieran was originally two weeks ago, $52. Went up last week to $56.50, and here it is now. Here she is, $59.17. And then let's go down to... Armored Mewtwo SM228, that has continued to rise in price. That is now $80.21. The Unigaba Eevee, that was $22.30 last week, and now it is up even higher to $23.21. Drowsy IR and Lana's Aid, you see the green and yellow highlighted. Anytime we have a significant continual increase in price, you'll see that highlighted. So last week, Drowsy IR from SV Base was $9.25. Now Drowsy is $12.15, continuing to fly on up. And Lana's Aid SIR, the card two weeks ago, I told you guys you should probably comfortably, very comfortably buy around the $30 to $32 range with a, a floor of maybe $25 as far as risk, whereas who knows what the ceiling is. Here we are two weeks later, the card has now crossed over $40. So it was last week, it was $34.92. This week, it is $40.44. And the best price bangers, guys. So I'm on, a, I'm on a good streak with these. Two weeks ago, it was Iono from Paldea Evolved. And that was $68. Iono is now up to $71 or $72. So it was a good call there. And then last week, as you can see, it was Mew, the secret rare from Celebrations, which was under $19. And it is now back up to $21.50. So stick around to the end of the video to get this week's best price banger. And this best price banger, it's a Charizard. And it's a Charizard that is now cheaper than ever. That is still a very popular, probably very good to invest in Charizard. So stick around to the end of the video to find out this week's best price banger. All right, so now let's get into this week's cards, and we're going to start off with some very playable, used-to-be bolt cards that you can make some easy money off of. So right off the bat, as far as these two playable cards go, it's the same card, two different versions. It's Reg Drago V-Star from Silver Tempest. This card is $8.72. This is 100% playability related. This is a bolt card that you can now make almost 10 bucks off of, 9 bucks off of, if you go ahead and uh, sell this card right now. And on that note, also, look at that. The Secret Rare, the Rainbow Secret Rare, is $16.73. Just to give you an idea of how big of a jump that is, this is a $6 card, and add 10 bucks, now it's a $16 card. So go ahead and hurry up and sell these two if you want to make shamane off the TCG players who need these cards 
for world. All right, next, let's go to base sets. So, Kalia, um, following what Ralts was doing over the last few weeks, Kalia is now at an all time high. Let's see, on the one month, all time high, three month, all time high, six month, one year, all time high, high, high. And honestly, has some pretty high uh, sales here. Yeah. So, Kalia, there you go, from base set. Also from base set, Slowpoke. Let's take a look at Slowpoke here. So on the one month at an all-time high, well, all-time one month high, but right here, three month, you can see not an all-time high. It keeps doing this tick, 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 tick. You look at the six month, this is why I put it on the list, because it keeps testing that $9 mark and it keeps setting higher lows. So all in all, would not be surprised if Slowpoke is a continuation for next week. But right here, essentially, very close, basically tying an all-time high. And as you can see right here, just kind of higher lows right there. So that's slow poke for you. Let's go to Heracross. Heracross was on the list, what, three weeks ago or something? Then he chilled out chilled out a little, and now he's going back up. So first of all, Heracross is at $14.66. We are into Paldea Vault right now, by the way. So one month all-time high, three month all-time high, six month all-time high. Went back down and now immediately broke through the previous week's or the previous month's all-time high. And so there you go. There's your six-month chart on Heracross. And ignore all these Japanese listings. Oh yeah, yeah. We literally hit English and they still throw in the Japanese listings. Hey, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go to Caesar. This card everyone knows is supposed to be worth more than it is, and it's just taking forever. So first of all, Caesar is at four dollars and ninety cents so almost five dollars let's look at the one month you can see it hit a low of four and now it's up to 510 let's look at the three months it was almost all the way down to three and so we're up huge on the three month chart on the six month chart you see that there higher low still going up and then basically it's as high as it's ever been since november so all in all since march it's doing very good all right now let's move on to scarlet and Violet. 151 so Zapdos SIR EX is one of the only SIRs going up from the set. It's at $41.80. This is a lot of people's favorite SIR of the whole year last year. So one month you could see it's just kind of barely cracked over it. Well, it looks like on the one month 40, 42.04 is the all-time high. But you can see here since May, nothing but strength and nothing but higher lows. And yeah, on the three month, this is clearly trending upwards. Let's move on. So Dragonair. One of these one of these cards, okay, it's Charmeleon. I was gonna say Charmeleon, I think, is getting a little pump action. Not not Dragonair. But uh, Dragonair, so $17.95. It's all time high in the one the one month, the three month, the six month. Ooh. So on the six month it had 18 right there. So let's see. All in all, on the one month and the three month, it is absolutely trending upwards, and it is almost, almost on its all-time high. Now, Squirtle. So Squirtle, guys, look at this. So Squirtle's up to 20, almost $30. There's your three-month chart right there. So on the one month, you see it's at a one-month high. Let's look at the six-month high. See it's at a six-month high. Let's look at the one year. There's only once in the last year that it tapped 30 right there in January but right here from April on it looks like something's going on there like it might break 30 again Squirtle's a very popular Pokemon Squirtle Squad Squirtle Squad goes hard so so Charmeleon though Charmeleon is what I my uh, spidey sense went got started getting a little tingly okay so Charmeleon right here is at $27.09 that's on the three month Let's see 28.59. These are near mint, right? Near mint, near mint. Good, good, good. So it's near mint is $28.59. But here's the thing. I look down here. So Japanese, 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 Japanese. I'm seeing a lot of 17, 18, 18, 19, 20, 20, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 21, 21, 21. But it's sitting at a market price of 29 bucks, right? So that made me be like this. Okay, well, obviously something's going on here. So you go over to sales because I saw that. So I was like, I need to go see the sales then. So what you see here is right here, someone yesterday, $40, $38, $38, $37, $37, $40, 
so as you can see just in the last two days a 40 dollar a 37 another 37 a 38 a 38 a 40 so basically someone is trying to inflate the price of this card by buying cards that are almost double its value and it's working so you know charmeleon is up big but i can assure you that is because there are just some very high near mint sales that are unnecessarily occurring while well, all the while you could still get this card for 20 to 21 dollars so i would be very careful with charmeleon okay this is very very similar to what happened last week with the walking wake hyper rare from temporal forces that went from 12 to 16 dollars because some guy is just buying really expensive copies just to pump the price up all right so now let's go to plusle from paradox rift to add some pluses to plusle's value here it's at an all-time high let's show you the one year real quick so woo, big time all-time high okay six month three month one month you got eleven dollars and seventy cents minum is not doing as well minum went up a little and went back down plus it went up a lot and could go back down all these cards could of course go back down but as of right now plus since 723 has shot up quite a large amount to say the least all right now let's go to twilight masquerade it was lana zade and sinestia these two sirs from twilight masquerade that i told you guys were probably really safe purchases lana at 30 to 32 and sinestia at 20 to 23 and as you can see uh it's kind of gone up since then so it's up to almost 25 dollars in fact we even had a sale at 28 dollars but sinestia ex you know i don't see huge things for this card but it could be a 30 dollar card um, so yeah, I mean, it's just very steadily creeping on up, just like I thought it would. All right, so now let's go to a mid-modern card, because that was very, very Scarlet and Violet heavy. And I'd probably have some more mid-modern mid cards on this list. I just, I really am pressed for time, and I do need to catch a flight. Um, this card right here, which is this card right here, uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite cards of all time. How could you not love this card? This card right now is $44. It's Flareon EX Rating Collection from Generations. So, uh, you know, $44.18. Let's look at the three month. It's at a three month high. It is at a six month high. It is at a one year high. So this card is more expensive now than it's been in a year. And, oh man, I don't know. There's a reason it's dead center in the middle of my mirror because it's just a beautiful, very cute little card. How could you not love it? All right, and now let's get to the best deal banger of the week. So the best deal banger, like I said, it's a Charizard. It's for Brilliant Stars. It's a Rainbow Ray, Rainbow Secret Rare. So this card, Charizard V Star Brilliant Stars Rainbow Secret Rare. This card was literally essentially fifty-five dollars for a year straight. And if we could look at a three-year graph, you would see that this card was fifty-five dollars forever. And before that, it was sixty, sixty-five, seventy. $75. So over the last two years, this card has done nothing but go down, but 55 was kind of its stuck price for so long, at least the last six months, as you can see. But out of nowhere, it just tanked last week. And now this card, for the first time ever, 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 is under $50, and it's significantly under $50. And actually, over my shoulder, you should see a slab case. I have that in a Gem Mint 10 behind me over there on the wall. So I definitely own this card. And I paid a year and a half ago, I think, 65 for it raw. So the fact that it's, what, 40, 48, 46, 46 bucks, that's crazy best deal banger. This card could go down, of course. But as of right now, it is cheaper than it has ever, ever been. All right, guys. That's all I got for you, and yeah, so I will be back next week. I have no idea how I got so lucky, and I'm going to meet all these crazy cool people. But uh, but yeah, I'll try to record as much as I can for you guys, and maybe I'll have some really cool content for you next week. And until then, if I do hit 2,000 subscribers over the next few days, I just want to thank you guys ahead of time. I think I'm like 5 or like 10 away from two, 2K. I just hit 1,000 subscribers a few months ago, so to already be at 2, you know, holy crap. Thank you guys so much. Like, I literally am now getting to travel the nation to meet people and connect and do this stuff. So, you know, I love being here and I love that you guys are here for this. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. Like, comment, subscribe. Deuces. Man, I like your takes, bro.